Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming to you on a very blustery fall Pennsylvania day. I got my chameleon out with the top cover on, preparing for a for a weekend two-nighter, and uh, I wanted to show you something that gets addressed on quite a few hammock forums. It's about single and double layer hammocks. Now this one you're looking at right now is double layer. I actually do have a single layer as well. When I bought this thing in late 2018, I bought a double layer for two reasons. Number one, I had always been a tent camper before and I had a insulated air mattress and two, I always thought I was a little on the heavy side at about 230 pounds. So I figured I might need uh, a little extra support. Well, I came to find out that both instances are not true. Number one, um, I've seen a lot of people heavier than myself sleep in 1.6 hex on single layer and don't have any problems. And number two, using the insulated pad in the hammock in lieu of an underquilt, yeah, it, it worked all right. But after about three or four times of that, you know, I, it's not the ideal situation trying to lay diagonally on a rectangular piece of uh, inflated um, vinyl. And it's starting to rain. So anyhow, but the double layer aspect of this thing is not entirely lost because something I do to cheat and gain a few extra degrees of warmth is use one of these. It's a folding windshield reflector commonly used to uh, block out sunlight in an automobile in an effort to keep it cooler in the summertime. But I found these make uh, an excellent way to uh, gain a few degrees of warmth in addition to your underquilt. And it works really good on a double layer hammock. All right, I'm gonna pause this thing for a minute and I'll get the thing inside there and I'll show you what goes. All right, I got the windshield reflector unfolded and it's been laid on a few times. So in addition to the uh, pre-made creases on the things, I'm able to fold it up that way. And as you probably saw, I can fold it in half the other way too to uh, fit nicely in my pack. Now here it is laid inside the hammock. I'm gonna slip it between the layers here in a minute and show you that, but I've never actually attempted to use it this way, but if you have a single layer hammock, there's no reason why you couldn't use it just laying on it like this. Although it is a little noisy. You don't notice it so much with a double layer hammock when it's between the layers. So what I always try to do is uh, my feet are prone to getting cold. So I try to keep the thing down toward the foot end so my feet are on it. All right, I'm gonna put it between the layers. All right, she's unfolded in between the layers. And now, zip this down a little. Yeah, I'm doing the cardinal sin. I got my shoes on. 
get myself yeah the wind's whipping pretty good as you could probably hear but now that i got that thing in there to use that into a, in addition to an under quilt you can probably gain probably five seven degrees out of your under quilt simple item we have a uh, discount store around here called ross where i can i pick these things up for 99 cents uh, you buy them in an auto parts store they're six or seven bucks but you can usually find them at discount places a lot of people buy them to cut them up to make pot koozies just another uh another use for it so double layer hammocks and in retrospect i wish i hadn't spent the money i wish i'd have put it toward my under quilts but it's not a total loss okay just another a hammock hack i hope it's helpful